Alrighty guys, welcome back to another episode of Farm Simulator 19. So what we're going to be doing, as promised, is the cow tips. So this one that the machine I use is the one that is in the store. You turn it on, you can pick up some stuff here. Now that they add a percentage to it, it makes it a lot easier. Again, what I normally do, I just do a 50-50 cut. Pretty close to it, whatever. Boom, start feeling. We're gonna use hay. And everybody, for some reason, says it takes too long or cows don't make money. It just depends on how much time you want to put into it. They do cost a lot of money up front, but they'll, you'll eventually start making your money back. Also, what's cool about this machine is if you You can also pick up your, keep your uh, cows clean that way too. On this next load, I'm going to show you another way you can do this if you want to cut it with straw. Alrighty, so on this next load, I'm going to show you another way of doing it. If you're interested in cutting it with straw. What I do is I fill the silage up to about 40%, 41, 40, somewhere in there, close as you can get it. Then over here at the straw, I mean, over here at the hay, filled up to about 75%. You can fill the rest up with straw. And that'll save you a little bit of resources on both silage and hay. All right, so I ran out of hay, so I had to go dump some straw that I had in my pickup trailer. In anticipation of running out of hay, I went ahead and made me some hay. All right, so here's my other tip. When you're doing big water, what I normally do is I start filling here at the water tower the restaurant. And my other tank's already over here. So I got two fill points right here next to me. I got the water tower, obviously. Then I have this over here, which is my man-made pond that I put in. And this is a mod. You don't have to have the mod. You can use the water tanks and stuff. And then you can drop it, and then you can just go over here and pick up your other trailer. I think we had a misconception, and I've seen a lot of YouTubers that were notorious for it. They were like, oh, put down, put down a water tank, put down a water tank, buy the water tank. You don't have to have the water tank. You can fill up on the map at any water location from what I've tested. So I'm gonna show you that. I'm gonna go ahead and drop this trailer. Go ahead and drop this trailer water off. Then we're gonna go test a theory at another a couple other water places just to show you that hey look you don't have to buy a water tank unless you really want to. I didn't buy me a water tank. I put the cool pond in because that's something I kinda wanted to do. Okay so right here at the trailer house there's one. And the trailer house is right here. And just to show you I don't own that land. See I don't even own that land. There's one there you can use to fill up your thing. Okay. And then right here. I own this land obviously, but right here there's the water well. You can fill it from there. And likewise, any natural water supply, any of the rivers, you could fill up your tank there too. One place you can't fill up 
The one place you can't fill up is this windmill here for some reason. Which what windmills are for is producing water, so I'm not sure if this is broke or just there for looks. You can even fill through this one, through the gate, or through the fence. I should say, not the gate. So feel free to look around the map and find your other water sources. You don't have to buy the tank if you don't want to, or if you don't want to waste the property space. But I bought the I bought the pond, and I'll show you my pond. But I went ahead and bought a pond, put it in. It kind of completes the farm look for me. And I would say, pretty much, you know, everybody says that cows are money losses and stuff. I don't really think it's money loss if you if you try to grow it more organic. But here's my pond. Uh, cool thing about this is, is this pond water isn't treated as regular water in the game. Back like I was saying, grow organically in a small chunks and just let your farm grow. Unless you're at the end game, kind of like where I'm at, you know. I, I got over 10 million dollars, I got all the equipment bought. I only lack buying three pieces of land before I own every land on the map. And I'm only doing them for contracts. Okay, so let's take a look at your cow productivity. 150 cows in the pen. You can see it's 8 hours and 15 minutes. Uh, you can see your TMR, how much it's going to take, and your water. And again, you don't have to worry about hay and silage and the grass. Like everybody tells you to add and put on there. You don't have to worry about any of that. Just concentrate on your TMR. 100% effective off the bat. The manure, slurry, I use that for these fields around the farm. Like that one, and the one across the road here. I think it's 19, 18 and 22, 23. That's what I use to fertilize these up for closer to the farm. It saves money that way. I don't really try to sell anything. But there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to give it a thumbs up, please leave a comment, subscribe. We're making some more of these that these get decent views and everything. Till next time, happy trails.